one of the ways that I can get into grad school is through showing that I have original research or just having research experience in general. Mathematics research is very different from being in school. As any research problem, they are open-ended. You don't know what's going to happen, what you're going to find or not, if you have to change your question as you move into your quest. I did find Kansas State uh, University's Math RU, and I signed up for that. There are research experiences for undergraduates. So um, at this RU, I'm studying knot theory. Here's an example of a knot. Um, this knot is called trefoil. It's the classic classical knot case where m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 3 in our embeddings from Rm to Rn. Um, specifically, uh, I'm studying graph complexes of two loops. These are a bit difficult to compute, so I'm studying actually a representative algebra of these graph complexes, namely symmetric and anti-symmetric uh, algebras, or symmetric and anti-symmetric polynomials. What I'm doing for this RAU is that I'm calculating the homology of these graph complexes. What we found is a general equation for a graded dimension and a general equation for our Euler characteristic of our graph complexes. The most interesting result we found from our research is that homology is always concentrated in a single degree. We pride ourselves in giving them projects that have real math problems in them, not made up baby problems. Our advisors had a good balance between uh, throwing you into the water and holding your hand. That is, um, they do hold your hand in a sense that you can sort of know what you're doing, how to do research and so on, but at the same time they throw you in the water. That is, uh, they, they uh, let you do your own research and you either sink or float. We are very proud of giving them real life problems. We are very proud of our um, professional development activities. We think it is a great thing that there is some joint work with other RUs, which is, happens mostly under the umbrella of SUROP, so that they can a little bit decompress from the intensity of math and still be with people that have intellectual curiosity. They learn to make basic web pages. They learn to use some word processing that is used for math symbols typesetting and they learn to use a variant of that that is used for overhead presentations. So they have some professional skills that they will keep for the rest of their life if they go into math or physics or engineering, any of those that use it. And you have a good student, you work with them, they stay in touch. One of the things they take home is a, a mentor and a reference writer for the rest of their life.